welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of being adult science fiction and fantasy. And today I'm beaming in from the bridge of the enterprise. <laughs> How are you, everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. We have some shadow heart is here and Chloe. How are you ladies doing today? Um, good. Thanks. It's finally a holiday. How are you? It's Oh, yes, yes. I was like, holiday? I think because I don't have a significant other right now uh, that it doesn't, it didn't really even register to me that that was happening. But to all you have sweethearts out there, I hope you are enjoying uh, Valentine's Day weekend. And, get, and even if you're alone, why not get yourself a treat or a snack that, you know, makes you feel happy or some flowers? Uh, Hello, Tanya. So good to have you. Um, being that I'm beaming in from a from a galaxy far, far away, as uh, I'm sitting in the captain's chair <laughs> today. Hopefully, you can see the background of my new. It might not work out. I feel like Oliver and Petunia. I bring them to the ship as well, so they might be re wreaking havoc uh, with the um, the starship. So. <laughs> Uh, it was very interesting to try to get this to work on YouTube, and I'm wondering if it comes out okay. If you guys um, are seeing the Starship Enterprise behind me, <laughs> give me a thumbs up so I'll know it actually worked. Um, it's a work in progress, so hopefully it's not distracting. <laughs> I have been. Uh, what have you guys been doing this week? Besides, I'm interstellar. I, I'm interstellar stellar traveling right now, and. Uh, Doing a far, far away missions. Actually, I am writing sci-fi, so this is an appropriate background. I have got ten thousand words again this week. I'm just, I'm getting close to the end, which is making me super excited. I think within two weeks, I might have this sucker done, or at least the first draft done, and then I'll do some really deep edits on it. And that might take another month for me because I'm a slow editor. Um, Star Trek. Okay, you do see it. All right. All right. All right. I'm so glad you guys are here, my friends. Yay. Um, I was reading a bit this week. I found a new book. It's, I don't know where I come up with these books, but it's, um, it's called The Formula. And it's about like the universal laws of success, which it's, it comes at it from a almost a data point, uh, perspective. And that's, it's different than any of the other uh, books on success I've read. It's just something to like a palate clean cleanser. I'm just trying something a little different, um, like being on the starship. <laughs> Do you um, challenge yourselves? I think this live stream, the theme is going to be um, challenging yourself to maybe doing something that's a little outside of your comfort zone, reading something that's outside of your comfort zone, uh, eating something that's outside of your comfort zone. Um, Play with your cat in a different way. <laughs> you know, do different things. Or maybe write a little something that's outside of your comfort zone. You, better, you might not know. It might spring um, something new into your imagination, which becomes a thing. I honestly, I had an opportunity to write in a sci-fi uh, short story anthology. And I had been reading, I had been writing like books about um, androids and I hadn't written written anything about space at all. I, mine were all based on Earth. Like all my first three book, book series is based on Earth in a far future where um, the main character kind of um, orders a boyfriend and he's actually an android. And, and then uh, the things go from there. It's a, it's a fun story, but it's very different than writing space opera. And um, this opportunity came up to write a search story in a space opera anthology. And I'm like, oh, this would be great. There's a lot of great authors involved. So I should make a concerted attempt to try this, but it was a challenge. But that's the birth of my character, Vega. It came to me so easily. Uh, her world came to me. And now I'm working on book three and possibly even a longer series. So you never know unless you try is what I'm gonna say. So, hey, hey, Al, how are you? Pam, Pam, rock on for the Pam, Pam. I'm so happy. I hope you all are doing well. The drink of the day for me, I got some Cherry 7-Up because why not? Why not? And there's no caffeine in it. So that, that works for me. 
And it makes me happy. Look at how pretty it is. It's like sparkly pink. Um, today I am working on, since I got my 10,000 words for the week, I am, I'm working on, um, this is one of my show, social media newsletter weekends. I sent out my newsletter this morning. And so now I'm working on doing, um, setting up more social medias and my ads that I've been working on Amazon. I've taken some advice from a uh, Robert Bryan books, which is another thing I tried that was new. Like I like Mark, uh, Mark Dawson stuff. He's also into teaching a lot about Amazon ads and Facebook ads, but I think he specializes more in Facebook ads and I learned a lot from him, but now I'm trying a different um, approach using Robert Ryan's uh, Amazon ads unleashed. And I'm going to tell you, I'm actually having clicks on my ads for the first time ever or any, any kind any kind of um, consistent pattern. So Yes, Picard. Picard is my favorite captain. Picard, who is your favorite captain? Should you watch these lovely um, sci-fi shows? <laughs> I've been watching WandaVision this week, and Jesus! I mean, excuse me, sorry for the language, but holy cow! It's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm loving every second of it, but I am very concerned about the characters. I'm very concerned about everyone in there. I'm, I'm hugely invested now in what's happening. And I really want there to be some kind of happy ending, but I have a feeling there might not be a happy ending, which is kind of killing me because I like the main characters so much. It's like a roller coaster ride every single episode. And I can't, I can't hardly wait another week to see the next one. Um, and it's Marvel. Oh, hi, Miss Brenda. How are you? How are you? I'm so glad that you joined us on the stream today. Nick Erickson, uh, Nicholas Eric, he is amazing. All right, I'm going to try him out too because I think that was actually one of the ones Robert Ryan suggested as well. I'm going to check him out because uh, I really thought that my books might be the problem for a while. I, I really did. And now that I'm actually getting clicks and buys and the, and the read through is actually really good. It's like, I don't have a really good percentage on it quite yet, but it seems like pretty much every time I sell a, a copy of conscript, I will sell a copy of cadet. And that's very encouraging. Um, so all I need to do now is figure out how to get them in front of the people who enjoy that kind of things. So I'm going to try. Thank you for that advice. Uh, Tanya, you are a tre treasure trove of information. You pay him to do yours. That's a good good tip because I might. Um, I have been out of work for a while, but once I get back to work um, and day job work, I, of course I work on my writing. But once I get back to my regular day job, um, I might consider hiring that out because it is very time consuming and it is very, it takes a long time to figure things out and to stay, you have to do it every day. You have to stay up on it every day if you're going to work on that kind of stuff because you can really, you can lose money. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right. Well, thanks for that advice. That was wonderful. Let's see. Oh, I know. Poor Darcy. And the last words out of her mouth. Oh, fudge. I actually wanted Hayward to get his cup up its, but ah, hopefully before the end of the series. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And oh, vision, vision. Oh, my heart, my heart. If you read any of my uh, first three books, that is very much I am any kind of synthesoid or android that is very has been imbued with um, uh, human emotions. I'm very sympathetic to. I always loved Data on uh, Star Trek Next, Next Gen. He was one of my very favorite characters in the whole series. Um, Oliver, don't do it. We're on Enterprise. You cannot mess with the screen when I'm on Enterprise. Fair warning, if I were to blip out as they did in the Marvel Universe, that my, that my friend Oliver is looking longingly at the screen. And it's a touch screen. <laughs> and I've tried to entertain him, but there might be not be any stopping him today. Oh. 
Yeah. Those twins are super interesting. I'm just digging the whole thing. I am really in interested. <laughs> cool screen, Oliver. I know, man. Oliver is he wants to be a space cat, obviously. And oh, even Petunia might join us today. They're both very excited. They're both very excited to, to join the stream. All right. I need to get to actual some production today. How about you guys? Let's do it. Let's do the spinning of the wheel, shall we? I like doing the wheel decide because then you guys don't yell at me for, for picking long ones. <laughs> and it might be a super short one. You don't know. So let's get on board. Let me beam you up. <laughs> let me beam you up and, and let the wheel decide. If I can remember how to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, dum. It's a big wheel. Let's spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. All right, you guys, I'm beating you up for this next sprint. Let's find out what it's going to be. Spin. Computer, I should say. Computer, spin the wheel. Well, that's not bad. We got a 20-minuter. That's a good warm-up. 20 minutes on the clock. And I think we're going to do some themed uh, races here. If I can figure it out. And we are going to do it. Space, the final frontier. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Being on a red shirt. I made a point of not wearing red today just because I knew I was going to try to um, to go to the spaceship and, and I didn't want to be targeted. <sighs> At least there's no chance of getting stranded. You don't know that. You don't know that, Shadowheart. You don't know. I'm like... It might, we might go to hostile planets. You never know. We just got to be prepared. We got to stick together. <laughs> we got we, we got to stick together. Bonded forever, as they say in my books. As the Star Defenders, you got you got to stick together. All right. I want y'all to pick your spaceships because they will race. And one of them, and only one, can win. Ten thousand crew members died. In the making of the <laughs> Star Trek, I there's quite a few. They would like whole ships go down. The main crew, they seem to be pretty safe, but but even Spock died at one point, and they had to bring him back. So, oh, there's I'm agreeing with you on the snow, Tanya. It has been kind of uh, terrible here as well in Michigan. It's very pretty, but we're also go we're getting that polar vortex, I think, right now. And it's like 14 degrees with a negative, like a negative nine or a nine wind chill or something insane. So if you go out, it might, you feel okay for like five seconds. And then you're just like, oh, there's not enough, there's not enough heat in the world to warm my bones. <laughs> hot chocolate, hot chocolate. <laughs> it does make hot drinks so much better. So I'm gonna say there's always something good to be had. And this is gonna make us, we're getting, and I'm getting more sunlight at night. And I'm very excited by that. I mean, the sun's staying up to like almost six o'clock now, maybe, you know, even after. So positives, positive, positives. <laughs> so we can't kill them all, huh? Can't kill all of them. All right, we've picked number four. We have a number two. We have a number one. I'm going to say number four as well. I like that blue. I'm, I'm having some faith in the blue. All right, we've got 20 minutes on the clock. Rock and roll never stops. Let's get those ships in the air, Star Defenders. Dun, 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 let's do it. On your marks, get your word processors out for the next 20 minutes. You're going to do nothing but either write or do a creative endeavor that will move your career forward. 20 minutes is not a long time to commit. We can do this. 
and maybe try something a little new. You never know. It might be fun. On your marks, get set, fly! <laughs>
Oliver. Nope. 
ST.
Woo! All right. Number four, number three. I'm sorry. I was uh, number three. Who, anyone pick number three? Number three is our winner. Winner, winner. <sighs> Y'all did good, I'm sure. How did your sprinting, your actual sprinting go? Let me know so I can tip my unicorn horn to thee. Because even if in space, there's unicorns. What I'm going to say. This is, I'm a space unicorn. <laughs> and look, the spaceship looks like me. Just a little. So what did you do? Did you get anything done during that last sprint? Because I didn't get much done. Oliver has decided that uh, having at my computer is fun. Also, I tried to turn on cat TV for him. And that was in that, that uh, wreaked havoc as well because he wants the birdies from bird TV. Or, yeah, the cats. Oh, because we were distracted. I know Oliver and the everything got going on here. All right, Maya, you got some analysts done. Rock on with your bad self. Unicorn horn of success for you, my friend. Double thumbs up. Magic, magic, magic. Space unicorns all around. If I go dark, seriously, it's Oliver. And I will come back. I'm sorry I went dark. I saw Oliver coming and he hit the screen. He knows exactly where to hit it to turn off my screen. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. I thought maybe being on the starship today might have been a very poor mistake. Maybe I should be wearing red. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Unicorn heart success for you. And thank you for subscribing. It means a lot. If anyone else out there is watching and you like these kind of crazy upbeat things, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm back every Saturday at three. And I'm giving you hopefully motivation and good tips on how to get more writing and writing related things done. My gosh, Tanya, I want to be like you when I grow up. I really do. Or, or I want to be able to tame my cats so I can also be productive. Oliver. Oh, Oliver. I'm not mad at my furry son. But if I had Wanda's powers, I might just <laughs> use some of that right now. There's there's no stopping him when he's in a mood. All right. I'm so happy. Everyone seemed to have Hopefully, got a lot done on that first stream. It uh, wasn't too bad for 20 minutes. I think we can do another one here in a second. And I'm very excited to get going. Are you guys feeling a power? Yeah, let me know what projects you're working on, too. I want to know. Please share in the comments. Shadow, have you pulled out the fiction again, or are you still working on some homework? Chloe, have you dropped back into the writing game yet? I'm always happy to have you no matter what you're working on. And we got Tanya. Uh, you're working on a newer project, maybe? Everyone, share your projects. Al, are you still there? Al, come in. Are you there? Al. <laughs> I don't know if that works in space. I, I it might. It might. I am currently working on setting up the back matter of my books, so not the funniest thing ever. Uh, but the social media was kind of fun. I did a whole photo shoot today, and this is one of my tips. If you are in the process of publishing and trying to promote your books, if you're going to do um, social media to support it, I would encourage you to do that, to connect with your fans and your friends. 
And uh, what I do is I pick a day a month just to do pictures. And I mean, I'll take a picture if, if a good opportunity shows up in another time. But I have a dedicated day where I like do fashion. Shit. Like I change clothes and I change poses. And I think about like different things I wanted to share with people. And uh, I used to try to do it a little bit once a week. And it was just taking up way too much time. But doing it once a month or so, getting a bunch of like pictures backlogged and, you know, some ideas of what I want to do. Oliver, 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 Oliver. He's very naughty today. And I think it's because I'm in a new location and anything new is difficult. Ooh, romance. All right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And when you free write, it's just like magic sometimes. And that's what I've been enjoying this last week is just hitting those veins of gold. Uh yeah, I know. You want to say hi? You want to show everyone how bad you are? You see, everyone, look at how bad Oliver is. He's a bad mamma jamma. You can't turn off my screen. I'm sorry. Don't blame them. It's an ear fault that you're naughty. All right. Let's do another one. Do, 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 do. We are going to do another one. I'm so excited. Let's do it again. And hopefully I will get a lot more done. Let the wheel decide. All right. Spin wheel. Spin. 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 Everybody spin. 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 Oh. All right, we warmed up. It's 30 minutes on the clock. Rock and roll never stops. 20 mi 30 minutes on the clock. It's one of our longer sprints. Do, 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 do. We're going to do a 30 minute, 30 minute timer with spaceships. Now, the key is to stop sharing and then hi, <laughs> and then to reshare. Ooh, do, 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 do. Spaceships. Yeah. That is a wonderful, productive thing to do. And I'm so glad that you're still using our streams for good things and to socialize and to have fun. You're not good at sticking to one project. And no, you know what? There's a lot of people who need more than one project. I think it was Asimov. I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that one. I'll have to do some research. But uh, he'd be working on multiple projects all the time. And I think that keeps some people's mind more active. Me, I can't split my focus. If I split my focus, I never move, move forward. Like I do, I do one block on every project, but I never get any project to completion. And that's what I found, but don't look at it. Finish the first draft on one novella. Oops. <laughs> uh, oops. She finished another project. Oh, well. That's wonderful. Yeah, doing something fun. Anthology about quarantine. Fixing plot holes in my YA book. Oh, you are YA. Yay, I do too. YA sci-fi. Space opera. It's very niche. Um, what kind of YA books do you write? I would love to know. Um, 30,000. Oh, my God. Goodness, Tanya, you are killing it. Oliver is again hovering above my computer. This will be a battle of wills. I feel I have always had willful children and I don't know why. <sighs> Ooh, tiebreakers are fun. I've had them. Um, they keep you 
in my mind, it makes you really think about what you want to type, what you really want the next word to be. So there's a lot less editing involved. That being said, if you're used to having a keyboard where it's easy to correct things, it's, um, I can't imagine going back now. I did learn on a, on a typewriter many, many, many moons ago, and it has served me well, but I can't imagine going back at this point. I do like handwriting sometimes. Do you guys like to handwrite? Do you like to type on a typewriter? Um, the faster the word processor, the better in my mind. It has to have a little bit of tactile uh, feel to it so that I know that I've hit that letter or... I had one keyboard that was too loose is what I'm saying that. And then I would hit F and it'd be like three Fs and I'd be like, have to constantly correct myself, but I need a good fast one. It doesn't necessarily have to be clacky, but it has to be accurate. And they have to be in good spots. Like the backspace key has to be a full size keyboard. I'm very particular about my keyboards. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of keyboard or typewriter? Well, Daya, hello, my friend, Miss Daya. So good to have you. Welcome, welcome. It is good to see you. I'm on the Starship Enterprise, if you're wondering. Or should I call this one of my ships? Technically, it's not the Enterprise, but it definitely looks like it. <laughs> we got a long one coming, Daya, so I hope you're cracking your knuckles, getting your word processor, your typewriter, your handwritten notes. I've been working on my handwritten notes. When I do, like I said, really raw creative stuff, I just like to write it out. And my my bujo, I put my ideas for ads or captions or blurbs. They all it all goes in my my bullet journal. And then um, I use the word processor or the computer to hack it down and make it pretty. Yay, Al's back, back again. Al is back. Tell a friend. Al is back. Al is back. Al is back. Do you mean laptop? I use a keyboard with my laptop. Like right now I'm using the keyboard's laptop, but I use a separate laptop. I mean, a separate keyboard. And I have multiple different keyboards that I use um, to get a better feel for it. Uh, so, I mean, do you have a favorite type? I guess I'm like... Uh, it's like with coffee, there's certain things I like, certain coffees I like, and certain keyboards I like. Um, when I had a uh, desktop, also I would change out the keyboards quite often, just so I could be, it could have a different feel. So yeah, that's what I, I I guess I meant that. I don't know. I'm so tired. Oh no, 30 minutes. You can do it. We can do it. Only 30 minutes. You can take a 15, okay, you can take a breather at 15 minutes if 30 minutes is way too long. And that's fair. If you can make it 15 minutes, I will be super proud of you. Learning new music for piano. Oh, that's exciting. Are you new? Are you new to playing or are you a long-term player, Chloe? I think you've mentioned your piano music and stuff before. So is that a passion of yours? Please share it in the comments. I do love music as well. I'm going to say uh, for this time on the races, I'm going to take number two. So we have a number four. We have a number two. Pick your races. And then we're going to hop on in. Hop on yo. Yeah. Then love romance. Let's make sure everybody gets up there a little bit. Do, 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 do the clackies. Yes, I do like clackies okay, but it's distracting for me after a while. And the cats get interested if it's too loud. So I have to beware. Beware. Number six, number four. We have we have some bets going down, people. Place your bets. Place your bets. We're getting ready for sprinting time. Um, crack your knuckles and get prepared. If you're going to edit, if you're going to do music for the next 30 minutes, like I said, in 15 minutes, I'll, I'll say something and then you guys can take a five minute break if you'd like. But I'm going to encourage you to try for 30 because we've been training for this. You have it in you. Let's do it. On your marks. Get set. 
<laughs> Go. We have liftoff.
Oliver, Oliver,
What you doing?
Number three, number three is the winner. This is the breakdown, the breakdown of the spaceships. See if you want who's a number three. Tanya kills it on those words. Yes. Yes, she does, Tanya. How did everyone else do? All right. So it's been dramatic. This, this live stream has been so dramatic. Oliver has attacked my screen. I was on the Enterprise for a while. The screen went dark. Um, I had to turn on cat TV. Then he attacked the TV. It's been a, this last sprint has been very challenging for me. Although I still checked out, um, one of the things I was doing for my back matter was trying to make sure my redirect links were all working. And I did do that. So I got one thing done. How did you do? And hello, Mr. Squizzle. I am so happy to see you, my friend. Long time friend of the Pam Fam and a number one commander in the Pam Fam uh, army. And I'm so, uh, the Parmy. <laughs> As, if it, as you, you know, as it were, <laughs> I am so flippin' excited to see you when you dip on in to the stream. Chicken pie, chicken pie, chicken pie is back. Hello, chicken pie. Oh, my goodness. It's Corporal Oliver. Yeah, Oliver has been out of order and he needs to be court-martialed immediately. I'll take second. Yeah, Pam Fam. Yeah, how did everyone do? Share what you did. All right, Shadow, that is good progress, girl. Unicorn horn of success for you. And a song. That wasn't the most resplendent song ever. I'll have to work on it. I have to workshop that. <laughs> I am sorry for all of this sw switching around and having to leave the screen, but Oliver, I tried a new thing and it worked. If only Oliver would respect my um, my my cat boundaries, but he he will not. So I am proud of everyone who got work done during that one. That was somewhat challenging for all of us, I think. Cherry one. Lunar, you, oh, and yes, yes, it is a Lunar New Year and 
Valentine's Day. So we have all sorts of wonderful holidays going on. I need to pay more attention to the world. <laughs> I was so deep in writing this week that I didn't even realize it was going to be a holiday weekend. Um, I got my 10K now this weekend. I'm, like I said, I'm working on my social media and doing the backlinks in my books, which is something that really works well for Pomodoros because it, it's harder to get lost in the activity. So if you know that there's an end in sight and you know you have fun people to chat with and to encourage you once it's done, then it's a little more enjoyable. Yeah, I'm back in the room with cat toys, so we should be safe for a little bit. <laughs> what are your projects? What are you working on? How much did you do? Everyone is rocking. Oh my God, Tanya. Good gravy. I want, it, that is such good gravy. I want it on uh, mashed potatoes. That's how good a gravy it is. <laughs> you know what, Diane? That's 244 words you didn't have before. Yay. Good job. Well done. Celebrate your successes because there's going to be plenty of times when you get zero and you can't motivate yourself, but at least you tried and that's something. And now you're building momentum. So the next, next sprint, you're going to kill it. And you know what? 244 is more than I got in that, in that last sprint. The last sprint was challenging to me. You know, Tanya is a whirlwind and a, and a whirling dervish of writing. And I want a poster of her to put on my wall. I really do. <laughs> I know she's scorching up her keyboard for sure. I know, I know. It's a very it's aspirational uh, to get those kind of word counts. And it makes me even want to work harder next time. And now that Oliver has been somewhat subdued, we'll see if he comes and joins me in this other room that I'm in now. Yeah. Hopefully, if there's anything embarrassing in the background, let me know. I tried. To, I, did, I didn't get this set up correctly because I had to do it on the fly. All right, children, behave. That's what they say when we're together. <laughs> I love me mashed taters and gravy. You know what, Tanya? From a child of the South, I feel you. And I really, I wouldn't, you know, I think. My dinner plans just changed because I, I do have some potatoes and I think I'm going to do salmon, which I'm usually a vegetarian all the time, but I do do some fish. So I think I'm going to have some salmon and mashed potatoes and some delicious gravy. And I think, yeah, I want to get your icon. I'm going to put it above my desk as an inspiration for word count. That's amazing. You, you're just killing it all the time. And thank you all for being supportive of each other. You guys are lifting each other up and making each other feel good. And we are together pulling each other to a higher level. So thank you for showing up today. We're shaking off those winter blasts. We're getting into some fun sprints. And I'm so excited to have you. If you are new to the stream or if you're watching this later, make sure you're... And I apologize for any of the craziness. But no, I don't. I don't apologize at all. If you don't like craziness, you don't belong here. If you like this kind of craziness, make sure you like and subscribe. And leave your numbers below. And I will be sure to answer your, your comments. Unless it's one of those porn ones, which I, I don't do that one. But normally, I'm very excited to hear from everybody. <laughs> Hey, you are clever. You are clever. Okay, let's spin that wheel again. Spin that wheel. Let's make it bigger. Oh, no. That's what she said. Oh, no. Pam, shut up. Do, 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 do. Can I do it? Si se puede. Okay. You guys ready to spin the wheel? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Let's do it. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, another one. Oh, no. Oh, Lordy. Well, last time we got short ones. This time we're getting long ones. Again, I'm going to throw out there for the people who do like super long ones. 
that you can take a break at 15 minutes, but then jump back in. Because that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I am seriously like wanting caffeine and I'm trying not to do it. What is your drink of choice today? Do you have any drinks out there? Is there any alcohol out there? Because I'm, yeah. It's February, people. I don't want alcohol. This is fine and it's delicious. And I wish I had something hot. But I am actually very happy. I'm happy to be here with you. Is anyone drinking anything warm? Give me something to aspire to. So once I'm off the stream, I'll have like a list of things to do. Hot teas or coffee. I want it described in great detail, please, in the comments. <laughs> Give me a, a fake coffee. Give me a virtual coffee in the comments. I need caffeine. <laughs> I can, dang it. You know what? Yes. Hitting that enter button is okay. I understand, Tanya. All right. Got 30 minutes on the clock. We have to obey the wheel or the wheel means nothing. Unless we follow the rules, the wheel means nothing. So 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Well, at least I don't have to reset the race thing. So it works. Do, 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 do. Sometimes when you spin the wheel, you win. And sometimes you lose. And we lost this time. <laughs> no, we're going to get a lot done. Thir oh, please. Yeah, baby. Black and boring, but mm, I can feel the energy just seeping into you. That's why I know why you write so fast now. Pure black gold. Coffee in a cup. Yes. Satisfied from the work you accomplish after this. Plus coffee. We can do it in 30 minutes and we will, we will treat ourselves after the live stream's over for more fun and treats. But right now, for the next 30 minutes, we are going to be focused. We are going to be motivated and we're going to be productive. Do, where am I? Why am I on the screen? Have you ever seen such a terrible scene? Wow. Damn, wow. Just wow. Can't stop till you get enough. Come on. When it won't stop. Can't stop till you get enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but today we will be eating the bear. Yes. I am a coffee lover. I had to I had to get off the sauce because it was killing my sleep. But I do have a cup of coffee in the morning and I have Made that bigger by, I water it down a little bit so I can have two cups with the qu same equivalent amount of caffeine because I do love it that much. I've tried um, lower caffeine versions, but it still kind of gives me uh, issues with sleeping. Therefore, I have to be very careful of it after a certain time of day. <sighs> yes, Oliver is back again. He He's um, stalking me. Hi, Oliver. <sighs> All right, crack your knuckles, people. Crack them. Warm up your... This is my favorite keyboard, by the way. If you guys were wondering. It's new, and I'm very proud of it. Therefore, I have to show it off every chance I get. It's pink, and it's delightful. And it's going to be hot. It's going to be used hot and heavy for the next 30 minutes. Okay, we have a pick number four. Number four. I'm with you, Daya. Let's go with number four. Pick a spaceship. Yeah, we got number four. We got <sighs> Shadow will pick us a winner. All right, Shadow, you got to pick a winner for you and Squizzums. Uh, can't stop till you get enough. Do, 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 do. It's getting late over there in the UK. Number two, we have a number two. We have a number six. 
Yeah, it makes me so happy. That was the treat I got myself for hitting 40. I did 40,000 words in January. Therefore, my treat was a new keyboard. So and that's another thing I suggest you guys do. If you do achieve a goal and or set yourself like little prizes that are not super expensive, but it might make you feel happier, like a new mug or um, like a $10 gift card for coffee or something, just a little treat for yourself uh, to, I don't know, it makes you feel happier and it associates good things with, with finished writing because it takes a really, really long time to finish a book. So you have to kind of give yourself treats along the way. All right, I'm ready to buckle down. I have to get this back matter ready. And then once it's done, it will be done. And hopefully I'm coming up with ways where it won't have to be redone as much. So fingers crossed for y'all. Get your projects hot. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I found it's very helpful. Like in November, I got myself a new chair, which was a big one because I was getting really bad back pain. And now I have this beautiful purple chair and it's just like, whew. I honestly can sit. I mean, I usually can't sit for very long, but I can sit in this one for two, like two hours and still be uh, pretty vital and not have any back pain. So very good. Very good. All right, kittens, cats and kittens. We're going to do it one more time. This is probably our last sprint. So I want you all to put everything you have into it. I want you to try, if you've not been creative today, try something new and jump on in with us into space, into the great. We're going to, what is it called? Like the go boldly go. We're going to boldly go where no writer has gone before. The final frontier. Pam, Pam, the Pam Fam's uh, space race. On your marks. Get set. Rocket. Rocket. Rocket.
Number four is the winner. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who voted for me. <laughs> number four, number four, whoever picked beautiful little ship number four. There we go. And that's your stats right there, people. And thank you for sticking with me. I know that last one was a lot after the last half an hour. We did two half an hours in a row. We've changed locations. We had Oliver blackouts. Uh, we were on the Spaceship Enterprise. It's been quite an eventful live stream. And thank you all for hanging in there and 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 doing it until the end. Uh, what did you get in this last sprint? I actually got really into it and I checked out my ads and I made sure my things were pointing in the right space. I have the proper uh, URL code redirect now. I know that's a lot of words, but that mean nothing to me. <laughs> no, that meant nothing to me at one point, but now I'm sort of getting it. Um, I'm getting it together. Woo! Shadow! Rock on! I love it. I love it. I love it. Well done, unicorn horn of success for you, my dear friend. Daya, you are smoking up the keyboard. Yeah, go Daya. Go, go, go Daya. Yeah, go, go Daya. Go, go, go Daya. Ah, uh, yeah! Almost done with the chapter. Good job. <sighs> well, oh, thank you so much. Yes, it is a pleasure. Squizzums, I love being here. This is the thing I look forward to. You guys are my Valentine date this year. I honestly love hanging out with you. I love spending time with you. I love being motivated by you. And hopefully I can provide some of that back. And you guys are encouraging each other. It's just such a heartening thing in this world that can be so dark sometimes. This is my shining light and another reason to believe that the world is a wonderful, kind, and beautiful place. Holy guacamoles, unicorn horns. Double, I, if I had my other horn here, I had to move locations or I would double horn you. That sounds really dirty, but I would give you two unicorn horns of success. Yeah, go, go, go. You are a winner. Thank you, thank you. And now I'm going to say good night to all our company. MIC. Yay, bye. Have a good night. I know it's late for y'all. So I appreciate you coming by, Miss Chloe, and doing your music and Miss Shadow. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. And I'm going to go have my salmon. And my mashed taters and Oliver is now sleeping. So life is good. I want you all to take care, get lots of writing done this week. And I will see you next week with more crazy zany. God knows what might happen. I don't even know. It's going to be off the hook. <laughs> see, I, I, I'm still doing old telephone style. I guess now it'd be. It wouldn't be off the hook because there's no hooks. It's going to be off the chain. It's going to be off the chain. It's going to be awesome. All right. I love you all. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Lunar New Year. And I will see you next time. Bye, Pam Fam. See you soon. Have a good one.